is what this first week of May is all about. This is for Spotify, you're getting kind of an abbreviated version. And then I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the pool if you head over to Substack. So let me do some cards just to open up the energy. I'm going to talk about the transits first and then the aspects. Because as we all know, the transit of the lunar eclipse in Scorpio is what this first week of May is all about. And it is definitely a big one. So I'm just going to open up the energy, kind of ask what kind of messages come through. Unicorn tarot cards. So I have three cards out. I feel like more than three want to come out. So I'm going to do two more cards. So the bottom card feels interesting. And one more card. Oh, this one slid. <laughs> there she is. I knew she'd come out somewhere. Okay. We have King of Pentacles reversed. Now I do view this as Taurus energy. However, this can be any type of earth sign. So it can be Capricorn, it can be Virgo, it could be a seasonal card. I do feel this is Taurus season in reverse next to the Three of Wands. So there is a growth cycle here. And knowing that we are in the middle of, you know, spring into heading into summer when the light, when we're leading into the light, where we're going into the fire, it's interesting, you know, we have this sort of vineyard energy here, Venusian vineyard. This feels like a Venusian male. So this is definitely feels Taurian to me. Um, the thing that sticks out on this card are these pink flowers here, right there. Um, so it does, I have my Empress out just as my, as kind of like I have her in front of me because I'm working with this energy right now. And this is kind of a symbol for me for 2023 is to lean into my Venus energy and lean into my North node. And it does look like those little pink flowers on this little Empress's card. So it does feel like there is romance in the air, but this feels universal. And we'll talk about May. We'll talk about the month of May. The Justice card is out but we got so many swords next to it. So there's the page of swords. It's like a little evolution here. The knight of swords and then the 10 of swords. So it takes me back. We had Mars retrograde at the beginning of the year. And during this time, this week is a very interesting cycle because Mars is in cancer. Venus is still in the sign of Gemini for some of the week. And then she moves over um, this week. So we'll talk about that too, because I think this is about the evolution of love. This is about communication, especially with Mercury retrograde. I think this is about the evolution of communication and relationships. And I think that this is kind of like, for those who are really working with these nodes, especially if you have your nodes in a fixed sign, such as Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo, you're going to have felt this very directly if you've got planets in a fixed sign, if you've got a really, a transit in any of the fixed signs. This is an evolution in your life. And we're all being asked to evolve through this eclipse cycle we're all being asked to step into our power in a specific way but that doesn't mean over power because Pluto has been through Capricorn and is now in Aquarius we had a very big lesson about power we're going to have that lesson again because Pluto is going retrograde on May 1st so let's get into let's get into the 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 transits of the week so pluto goes retrograde may 1st and i'm gonna have to use my notes because there's so many aspects and i don't like to look on the screen because you'll see me like kind of squinting at the screen so um pluto's retrograde may 1st zero degrees aquarius now this is going to be for a bit 
Um, I have a whole article on Pluto and Aquarius, which lists out every date between Pluto, Capricorn, Pluto, and Aquarius, and even kind of gets into Pluto and Pisces. So I'll link that in here. And so May 1st is kind of that energy of Pluto being like, okay, you're learning this lesson of power. And this is a very important week regarding your personal power, regarding your personal authority, regarding what you learned about how people in authority use their authority and how you can take those lessons or leave them. In a lot of ways, I'm leaving a lesson, you know, as of the time I'm recording this, which is Friday, April 